EA released a brand new promo into FIFA called Level Up. The two players you see on your screen are worth 12 million coins and 7 million coins. And this is causing a massive divide in the FIFA community. But it's more than just that because it's going to take you an insane, absurd amount of time to complete all of these cards. And with that, today we're going to start a 48 or 2 day road to glory within that time frame we're going to see how many of the level up cards we can complete and then we're going to see if the hotly contested promo level up really can compete with some of the other best promos of the year once we spend about 44 or 45 hours on the team we're going to go and compete in fuck champs and see if this team really can hang with some of the best players in the game and so with all of that out the way we started opening our packs we got a welcome back pack of an 83 times free we also got a world cup pack and then we opened our preview pack which had nothing fruitful for us in it and then the first thing I wanted to do was go and sell the kits I just applied in the welcome screen. We managed to sell them for some good coins. After that, I went in and completed all of the foundation SPCs that you needed to actually unlock the SPCs. The reason I wanted to do this is because it was very important for us to get the daily login. And that is why this had to be done very quickly. And with that, you know, we also had lots of bronzes in the club to complete a lot of other things as well. Position modifiers, if we wanted to complete them, we could. We also could complete the daily login for a few days as well, as this is a 48 hour RTG, but I'm not gonna complete it in 48 hours flat. So it gave us a bit of time to work on a few other things. We also managed to get Goosens and Dan Juma there. EA are really pushing us in to a Tottenham Hotspur squad, which is okay. Topspur? No, no. What's that? <laughs> and we also wanna complete Kalanoglu as well. So we're gonna need to go and buy a few players off the market to get the Serie A squad together. That was a team we did manage to put together straight away. We then moved into moments, completed some moments, completed enough to get the objectives done, and then we went and got the two loan cards that were available. And then it was time for us to get into division rivals, and we bought Tammy Abraham for the Kalanoglu objective, and we scored five goals in this game, a few were Lacazette for an XP objective as well, and it was very, very easy, and we won our first game very comfortably, managed to get 350 XP and 13 objectives done. I then decided to change my team so we could do Kalanoglu, but we could also get some of the very important objectives done for XP. And then we went into two more games with division rivals, and got two more rage quits. And at this point, guys, we managed to get Taylor Booth, and we are gonna stick him into the team that's a very nice special card, our first special card into the team. We then kept on attacking divisions, and in Division 9, we faced this team that you see on your screen here. We made him rage quit very quickly, though. So great news for the account, guys. EA today dropped the Fuck Champions bonus objective, which means we're gonna get into champs or champs playoffs for free after playing just three Rivals games, which I've gone and done already. Kalanoglu is now on the team as well, guys, which is awesome. We're going to upgrade him from his 94 to his 96, so we will have 94 racing fodder, and that is going to be the end of our two. All right, guys, so we've got a few decent packs here that I want to open live together and see if we can pack a level up. I very much doubt it, but we might be able to, which would be a massive help to the club. Any fodder is certainly welcome as well. Matt's Hummels is okay fodder to pick up there. I'm going to get Kobo as well. I should do something with him. Don't really have the time, so I'm going to discard him. I'm going to get on to the next pack. Next pack is going to be another 83 plus double. Come on. Level up. It's a walkout, which is really nice. It's going to be Portuguese. It's going to be Cam. It's going to be Bruno Fernandes, which is okay once again for fodder purposes alongside Chiellini as well. And then for level five of the season progress, you get the opportunity to take a 84 times five or a team in the season player pack. I've gone for the five 84 plus players in the hopes we get a walkout, in the hopes that we get a level up. It's going to be English right back. It's going to be Trent, which is once again, very, very nice fodder. It's going to be a level up behind here. There is not, but there's another Keelin. That's okay though. Ben Yedder's okay as well. And with me having some excess fodder, I decided to go and get Lauritsen, which is going to be very, very good for the shapeshifters objectives. He's going to go straight into the team. Once Lauritsen was done, I also went and completed Sedilia as I want to get him upgraded to his 93. And then it's really good 91 rated fodder. As well as completing Sedilia, we went and done Kalanoglu and upgraded into his 96, which I'm very happy about as well, because he is absolutely amazing in game. A big upgrade to the squad. By that time as well, after we got Kalanoglu down, we had a few games left to do with Sedilia, and we went and upgraded him to his 93. So we had 91 rated fodder at this point, which was absolutely amazing. Once we done that, guys, we had to pick between the shapeshifter Thiago Silva or the 85 times 10. I decided to take a risk and go for the 85 times 10. We also had an 86 plus two players pack, which gave us Testagen, and I believe it was De Gea in this as well. So that's good fodder once again, and it was time for the 85 times 10. What are we gonna get? Are we gonna get any level ups? I hope so. We're starting off with Karen Benzema, which is very good, highest rated goal card you can get on the game. What else is going to be in here? Nothing too spectacular. Haaland is good to get, I guess. We also got some more fodder here as well. 
Thomas Muller, who I believe was a duplicate in here with Jorginho, which meant we needed to go complete some more stuff, which is what we've done. So at this point, guys, we needed to complete the Team of the Season on Team of the Season Moments Upgrade SBC, which is tradable. And we managed to go and get ourselves a Team of the Season, and that Team of the Season is going to be Jeremy Fringpong. This was a big turning point for the account. Because this is tradable, because Jeremy Fringpong sells for a bit more than all of the other Team of the Seasons do, we managed to sell him for 30,000 coins, which allowed us to buy the team of the weeks for all of the SBCs that we did want to complete, which was absolutely massive. So with the 30K that we did get, we went and bought Corona, and then we also managed to go and get Raheem Sterling using Kalanoglu and Sedilia's lower rated cards. So this is the team that we did put together for the objectives, and we needed to go and get five cross assists with Corona and 25 goals in 25 separate matches with Raheem Sterling. So we went into rivals, we were now in division six, absolutely plan for everyone though which was absolutely amazing and before you know it we almost had corona done and sterling was going to take a lot of time but we were getting through him as well with all of the crosses done we managed to go and get ourselves corona 94 which is a nice upgrade and we actually sold him for a little bit of profit as well and then with all of the excess fodder i did have i also decided to complete edmund tap sober who expires in two hours Another really good upgrade to the team. Of course, he's a premium one as well, which means he gets great chemistry. We then had to make a decision between the 2584 plus players pack or Park G Sung. I think it's quite an easy choice by going for the 2584 plus. We opened this and we got Robert Lewandowski as our main card. Are we going to get any level ups in this one? We haven't got any from packs yet, which is very disappointing. But in this one, we've got loads of fodder once again. And I do believe we also get a level up in Pacho, which is really good. We'll go and get him done as well. So, guys, we then opened an 83 plus times three. And Laporte is the one that walks out. But not only is Laporte in this pack, we managed to get ourselves an absolutely awesome card. We got ourselves Edinson Cavani's 94. We're definitely, definitely going to level him up when we get the opportunity to. I also used this opportunity with the fodder that we did have to go and get Savernier as well. We then kept on opening our fodder packs and we managed to get some duplicates in this. So, I decided to put the duplicates into the Tots player pack. I'm going to open that. And I really, really thought that we were getting ourselves Sadio Mane here. I forgot that he's a team of the season moments. He is Endai from the Super League. But then, guys, we wanted to work on Cavani and upgrade him to the 96. This is quite difficult because it's long shots or outside the box shots. And you need to score them, of course. The green time number power shots really did help us get him quite quickly. And he was okay to do with the power shots. We hit the bar an awful lot. But the power shots were starting to go in eventually. Hit the crossbar twice there. And any power shots it in, which is brilliant. I scored all of these goals with power shots, which was really nice. It's going to be one you're going to see shortly. That has so much dip on it. This one here, oh my God, what a goal. And just like that, guys, Cavani96 is part of the club. And I'm so happy to get him because he's premium chemistry. And he's going to be very good for Corona. I think we might go and complete a Cunha now as well. The next thing for us to work on was Pacho going from a 90 to a 93. And now it's time to work on another card that we've leveled up. Pacho is now in the club. We have got that done. The team is really, really starting to come together now. I think Cavani and Pat chose 94 and 90 cards respectively. We wanted to go and complete Acuna. Now, the fodder was quite easy to come by. I really wanted this card into the club. The link specifically to Corona's 94 level up, I thought were going to be really good. So I decided to go and get Acuna's flashback card. From this point, guys, I went and grinded up to 20 stars in moments to go and get the draft token pack. We needed to get this done for objectives. Went and built our draft out. It wasn't spectacular, but let me tell you something. The gameplay was, we absolutely demolished everyone. Rage quit, number one, comes in there. Rage quit, number two, comes in there. Rage quit, number three, is coming. As you can see there, pauses it. We get another rage quit, 4-0, in the 49th minute, I believe that was. And then the final game, we get a rage quit in the 17th minute. That was the quickest draft I have ever played, guys. 1-0, 1-0, 4-0, and 3-0 rage quits. Let's see what we do get for our rewards. It'd be really nice to get the coins. We are going to get a premium gold players pack and a mega pack. That's really not too bad. And now it was time for us to take our division rival rewards. Now, you've got the option of the tradable packs here, which isn't a bad option, really. And you've got the untradables, which is good for fodder. But for me, I want the coins and I want the untradable packs as well. So we can get fodder and we get some coins back into the club as well. We are in division four, so we're very close to getting all the way up the divisions. I think we're actually one game away from division three. Yes, we are. So we've done really, really well in divisions do you take tony Kroos or do you take the 30 84 plus players pack honestly this is the most difficult choice of the entire road to glory so far it probably will be the most difficult choice of the road to glory Kroos looks absolutely amazing but i think for the spcs that i want to complete 
I think I'm going to take the 30, 84 plus players pack. We're going to take it. We're going to get it over and done with so we don't see Kroos on the screen anymore. What would you have taken there? And then it was time for the 30, 84 plus players pack. We're going to get it open. I actually kind of don't want any level ups. Not any of the good ones anyway because I've got too much to do on the account as is. It's going to be Harry Kane as our face card, which isn't actually very good. Please, please have lots of fodder in here for our Bamiang. Oh, it's bad. Oh, guys, it is bad. We've got Foyf and we've got Pacho in there. Foyf we could potentially get done because his 93 rated card will be good fodder. Generally speaking, though, guys, that's absolutely awful. We've now got an 83 times 25 pack. Come on, EA, a few level ups. If they're going to give me level ups, give me Enzo Fernandez. That would be absolutely brilliant. It's going to be a It's going to be Verratti. If there is not a level up in here, we are dusted. Oh my god, that is so bad. Oh, it's awful. Oh, guys. That is absolutely tragic. So, guys, we've just completed Tim Ream, and this guy is going to be just fodder for us. So, going to our Bamiang, I think. Really, really good high rated fodder at 93 there for only an 85 rated squad. Then it was time for us to go into Champs Playoffs to make sure we got qualified. We were cutting it tight for time. We had about seven hours left of Fuck Champs here, so I needed to get qualified. But not only were we doing that, we were making sure we were getting loads of rage quits. And we were also working on a few level up cards as well. I believe we were working on Foyf and of course Sterling was still needed to be completed. Because he takes so long, 25 games is kind of crazy for a card like that. Of course, scoring with Foyf as well is a bit annoying with him up front and having really poor finishing. We just have to green time all of our shots. We were absolutely plowing through the Champs playoffs games. We did lose one, maybe two games. But it was so easy to go and get qualified. And also to go and get fourth, which was actually really good fodder for us in the end, as well as Raheem Sterling. We then added Raheem Sterling's 95 rated level up card into the team. I'm really happy about this one because he's going to be one of my key players for the rest of the Fat Champs games. We also added Juan Foyf, who I thought was just going to be fodder, but I think he's actually going to go into the main team. He's got a good card and he'll be good defensively as well, which is what we need. And that was us qualified for Fat Champs. We haven't got long to play. We've got 5 hours, 56 minutes. We're going to go and grind this out, try and get that rank 1. But I'm hoping for a rank three regardless. That's actually not bad. We've got De Gea from our squad battles pack. 585 plus players pack. Come on, I need lots of fodder, man. Lots and lots of fodder for our Bamiang. It's going to be German Cam. It's going to be Thomas Muller. We're going to hopefully get a few level ups in here. Oh my God, we've got to go Goretzka. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. He is worth two and a half million coins. What is this road to glory? So guys, this is a 90 rated squad that we are submitting for Pierre Emmerich Albamiang. And I really want to get him into the club. We're using up a few of the cards here. We're using Tim Ream, Sterling, Pacho, Foyf, and Savernia. But all of these cards are already completed up to the higher versions of the level up or are pointless for our club. All right, guys. And then for the 89 rated squad, we are sacrificing Juan Foyf's upgraded 93. And also, Kalanoglu's upgraded 96. Of course, an objective, so I can't get him back. But Aubameyang is going to be really crucial to the team. And Kalanoglu is not going to make it into the start 11 of the Fuck Champs team. So, this is a sacrifice to the FIFA gods. We're going to turn it in. It's a bit dodgy, but I'm happy to bring Aubameyang into the club. Because he's five-star skills, because he's tall, because he's really fast. I've got a feeling he is going to be the guy to really help us push on to that rank three or rank two. And yeah, I'm really happy to bring him in. Of course, we sacrificed De Gea as well, but I am happy to do that for this flashback of Bamiang. All right, guys, so this is the team we're going to be taking into Fart Champions with five hours left. And I also have changed the tactics as well to suit me. I've got a 5 4 1 when I do need it, a 4 4 2, which is going to be my secondary formation, and the 4 1 2 on 2 narrow, which is going to be my first formation I'm always going to switch into. I'm going to use this at the start of the game to try and get rage quits. If the games are very tight, I'm going to switch into the 4 4 2. If I'm needing to hold on to a lead or get a bit more width into the team, I'm going to switch into the 5-4-1. With that being said, though, guys, we haven't got a lot of time, so we do need to get into champs. We haven't got any super subs other than Zidane, so let's get into the games and hopefully pick up a rank three at minimum. All right, then, guys, the first game of Fuck Champs. We're up against a pretty bang average team for this stage of the game. Hopefully, we can get a quick win here. What an Alba. Alba's in. Aubameyang makes it 1-0 in two minutes. Lovely. He's equalised. Fair play. Fair play. Oh, Alba. 
Oh, you're so good, Aubameyang. Is he going to leave? Let's go. 1-0. Game number two coming up on the Fuck Champs run at three in the morning. This guy's got to Stegen, Kunde, Militao, Zambrotta, Kroos, Czech, Rashford. Oh, my God. That's a good team. Come on, Albert. Oh, my God. How's that gone in? He should have volleyed that, but we're 1-0 up. Cavani makes it two. What a play lock bait that was. Barbara's in again. Aubameyang makes it 3-0. Let's go. Rage quit. Number two is in. Game number three has got bad connection. Coupe de Canon is who we're up against. What team does he have? Megnon in there. Pacho, Lauritsen, Ronaldinho, Van Persie. Had to check up front. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, Jesus. This guy seems really good. Okay. Oh, guys, this dude is amazing at the game. We have ma matched an absolute demon here. This sucks, man. Come on, Albert. Give us a lifeline. Come on, let's go. Come on, Alba. We're back in the game, guys, so quickly. Come on, Sterling. Raheem's in. Raheem makes it free all. Let's go. Uh, we've got back into the game at 3-0, guys, and now he's just going to leave. At this point, guys, we've got to 6-0, and, and we're absolutely flying through the games, getting rage quits in every single one. FIFA Ruben Twitch.tv. Oh, my God. This is going to be a game. Come on, Cavani. Oh, he's moving the keeper. Oh, no. We should have scored there. Please, Corona. Let's go. Deserved. And he's going to leave, is he? Let's go. All right, guys. This is game number 10. We are 8 and 1 right now. He's got Soloff, Medina, Verratti, Lorente. It's not a very good team. Let's hopefully go and win this game. Come on in, Leon. Oh. Come on, Alba. From there, son. Oh. It should be 1 0. It should be 1 0. Oh, my God. How's he saved it? Corona makes it one. There we go. Come on, Alba. Oh, my God, Alba. Let's go. Is he going to leave? Oh, yes. Nine and one. All right, fellas. It's now crunch time. We are 13 and two. So every game really, really does matter. We've been using Petr Cech a little bit. We got his loan card and we're using that. I think we are going to complete his main card for the last 24 hours. But yeah, let's get into this game and see how we get on. Come on, Anderson. Come on, please. Yes, let's go, Cavani. Come on, Alba. Come on, Alba. Let's go. 2-0. There we go. This should be a rage quit here.
and I'm pretty proud of that considering this account is about 20 hours old. We've done really well to go and get that and in this I just want fodder and also any usable team in the season. Starting off with the 84 plus player picks, starting off with Robertson, there is all right I guess, good bit of fodder. In number two, any level ups showing up here? Nope, just a Cunha. And then the final gold player pick. Can it at least have a level up in here? Come on, man. It's Fabinho, which is okay, I suppose. This is what really matters though, guys. The one of four 91 plus FX tots. Give me some players that are usable. Or don't. Yeah, okay, Bruno Guimaraes is gonna be the first one. And then the secondary one is going to be something good, I hope. Sissoko to test. Oh my god, Rafael Leal's in there. Well, that's absolutely amazing for rank three. 50k pack number two. Level ups, please. Can we Goretzka tradable? It is a level up. It's going to be Algerian. It's going to be a Tau. Do you know what? That's actually really good. We'll go and complete him. And then we'll go and sell him. How much is he worth? I think that's really good, isn't it? Please tell me he's worth like 200k. Oh, man, he's cheap. Okay, still, that's good. 40k in the bank, plus a Tau's 93 coming into the club. Ultimate pack, come on. Level up. Yeah, we level up, come on. Who's that? Darwin Nunez? Oh, my God, guys. What is this account? Oh, man. Oh, he is expensive, guys. This road to glory is complete. 600k, we'll go and complete him as well. And then we'll sell him and make 500k off of him. That is madness. And we're not finished just yet. We have got the 91 plus Tradal FX Tots free players pack. Hopefully this can give us something that's actually worthy. Not really expecting it, but fingers crossed. Here we go, English, center back. It's gonna be Chris Smalling. That's not very good. Do we see some moments? That's bad. That's really bad. You're going to make about 30k on each one of these, which I guess is okay. You know, about 100k made from this, which is actually quite decent. So, guys, I was just opening some pretty bad packs, and we managed to go and get Thiago Jallo. Now, I don't know if I'm going to complete him up to the 93. Don't know if I'm going to have time, but it's still a nice bit of fodder to pick up. After completing Darwin Nunez and Atal, we went and sold their cards, as well as picking up Kalulu and Barali to do alongside Nunez and Atal. We've also got the team of the season cards that we did get from our rank three rewards here. I did actually use these for the ultimate TOTS objective. Then we managed to sell them. So 46k for Smallin, 50k for a Tau, 34k for Odegaard, 30k for Trivia, 30k once again for Kalulu. We got 584,000 coins for Darwin Nunez. And we also got 29,000 for Berardi. And then it was time for us to add our new cards into the club, starting off with Berardi. We went and purchased him as we've done him in squad battles alongside a few of the other cards that you're going to see. First of all, coming up is going to be Kalulu. A nice one to get into the club for chemistry for Rafael Liao. As well as adding Yusuf Atal, which you could do in one game. And of course, we did pack him. We sold him for 50k. And it was a nice addition into the club as well. And last but certainly not least to add into the club via the level up upgrade system was Darwin Nunez. A great card because he's so expensive. It was then time for us to pick between Del Piero and the 25 85 plus players pack or the one of four prime Timmy Fuck birthday trophy titans icon. Now for this account, because I want to gamble some of the cards, I want to do some SBCs. I'm going to take the 25 85 plus players pack so we've got a bit of a massive pack opening to do here we have got some absolutely insane packs probably the last packs you're going to see of this 48 hour road to glory we're coming to the end of the time that we do have left i want to complete goretzka in the time that we do have left but i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to 384 plus players pack no way is it just boards again german goalkeeper it's going to be neuer which is amazing for fodder absolutely amazing could be a level up in here too there is not going to be. It's an awful pack outside of Neuer, but Neuer's, as I said, really good fodder. 286 plus players pack. Now, this should have a level up in it, really. Of course, it's a walkout. It's going to be Haaland as the base card. Is it going to be a level up in here with him? Probably not. It's going to be a duplicate Alexander-Arnold. 585 plus players pack. Come on. Of course, it's a walkout. You'd expect that. Mane? Oh, it's Mendy. There's got to be some level ups in here. It's got to be, because if not, that's awful. 
That's so bad. Right, so we've got an 85 times 10 from the season battle pass, whatever you want to call it, objectives. Are we going to get a level up in this? That is not a walkout by design. It's going to be a set. It's going to be Ruben Diaz. Okay, that's not too bad. Is there going to be any level ups here? You'd expect there to be. There is there's a Baradi. Okay, that's okay. And then it's the big boy pack. It's the pack we've all been waiting for, the 25 times 85 plus. Come on. I want everything in this. Absolutely everything. It's going to be a walkout, which you'd expect. It's going to be German CD. It's going to be Joshua Kimmich. That's quite concerning. That is quite concerning. Oh, my God. Varane, please. Oh, it's Jallo and Kalulu. There's lots of dupes in here, but that is bad, guys. That's really, really bad. So, guys, with all of the fodder and about 450,000 coins, I've gone and grinded all of the upgrade packs and picks that were available. So, we've got the 1 of 5, 89 plus hero pick. We've also got the team of the season or shapeshifter pick as well. We're going to start with the hero 1 of 5. Come on, EA, give me something good. We've got a Bene Pele in there. And it's going to be a Bene Pele quite comfortably, I think. I don't know if he's worth anything anymore. But I actually think that's quite decent. So he's worth 300k, which is actually really good. And he does look quite rare as well. So I'm pretty happy to pick him up. And then in the team of the season or shapeshifters, player pick 93 plus. Give me Riyad Mahrez or something. We're going to get Ben Yedder. We're going to get Goretzka. And we're going to get Barella. Mukhtar, I don't really care about. I'm probably going to take Ben Yedder here. I don't know if Barella's really worth anything. So I'm going to take Wissam Banyele in the thoughts that he might still be a little bit expensive. He is. He's about 100k, which is okay. Which we've actually managed to go and get two league earn players. Check out who we do have and check out how good this 48 hour road to glory really is. If you guys have enjoyed this content and you want to see more of this style of content, make sure you leave a like and you subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you want me to do a full champs run through with the full main team. With that being said though guys, the bench is looking really, really strong. It's got Raheem Sterling's 95, Ben Yedder team of the season, flashback Albamiang, level up Corona, Acuna's flashback, Blanc that we did get from the Icon Pack and Sildilia. On the reserves, we have Savernia, we have Booth, and we have Lauritsen. We've also loaned Zidane and Petr Cech. Now, guys, with the coins we did make from our Fuck Champs rewards, we did go and do a little bit of shopping, and we spent it all on one player. With that being said, though, guys, let's get into the main team. The goalkeeper is going to be Edmund Tapso, but make sure, if you do have him, we have any of the outfield players playing in there. Make sure you do have them on the GK Basic. It makes them a lot better. And Tapso was genuinely brilliant for me, which is very nice. The right back is going to be level up Yusuf Patel. I like this card. You know, he gets the premium chemistry as well, which is awesome. 
Very happy to bring him into the club as well. And then the card that we did spend all of our money on was Tio Hernandez. He cost me 330,000 coins and it is the team of the year version. I'm pretty happy to get him into the squad as well. Very good for chemistry. Also, the two centre backs are going to be Pacho and Kalulu. I really, really like Kalulu. I'm not the biggest fan of Pacho. I do like him for the premium chemistry link, similar to Atal. If you haven't seen my review on Atal, you'll know that I'm not the biggest fan of him either. But the premium chemistry really does make up for how poor they can be in certain points. And of course, Atal has a lot of utility. He can play in a lot of positions. Into the midfield now, guys. We have Alexis McAllister playing on the right-hand side and then the left-hand side. We have our 96 non-leveled up Leon Goretzka who gets full chem because of the manager, Tapsoba and Pacho's premium chemistry, which is awesome and a really good addition from EA in my opinion. Two pack this Goretzka is absolutely nuts. Really, really happy that we did get him. And it really does show you how much you can do in 48 hours on a road to glory. This team already looks absolutely ridiculous, honestly. I can't believe this is a team that we were able to put together in just 48 hours or less, about 43 hours all in all. The Bele Pele that we did get from the hero player pick is going to be our cam. A really awesome card. His finishing's a bit low, but generally speaking, this card is amazing as well. And you know, you can also do the Trevellas with him because he's got under 89 shot power. Really happy to pick up that card. He's very rare as well on the market. Our left wing is going to be our fuck champs, Raphael Liao. Oh my God. How we've got him is unbelievable. Like some of the cards we've packed, guys, has been absolutely bonkers, and Liao is probably the best of the bunch. Our right winger is going to be Darwin Nunez. Also got a review on him on the channel. And of course, the great thing about him is his alternate positions. Play as a right wing, centre forward, striker, and left wing. And also is five star, five star. Absolutely amazing to get him into the squad as well. The final player in the team, the striker in the team, is going to be Edinson Cavani. Once again, premium chemistry helps get Darwin Nunez on full chemistry. And is an amazing card, actually, too. Um, really like him because of the five-star skills. I think he's an absolute demon, guys. That is the team that we were able to build in 43 hours of playing FIFA 23. They had a fuck champs run in there with a rank three and lots of grinding gameplay. So, very happy with the squad. Let me know what you think of it down below. If you enjoyed this content, once again, make sure you leave a like on it. Let me know if you want me to do another fuck champs run with this team with the five hours that we do have left as a separate video. Guys, that is it for this video. As I said, I really appreciate you watching and make sure you stay tuned for more content like this.